Okay, I'm on my lunch break. It's kind of uh, a minefield of nuts, bolts, and screws in here right now. Getting some stuff done. <laughs> Uh, these magnets are strong, man. They stick to everything. Okay. Well, the ones that don't pick up must be stainless then, huh? All right. I'll take it. Okay, so... Uh, whoops. More to do. I'm going to try to, I've got some of these uh, stainless steel containers. This is just easy money. Definitely stainless. I'm trying to pick the easy ones first here. Nice. This might be on that so there you go all well, those are done <clears throat> long screws That has to come out, that's why. Then this one screws. And it's cast aluminum, which is very nice. Pretty nice, heavy. I think this is cast as well. out of here the reason I like ceiling fans is because you get the zinc on the blade brackets um, you get cast aluminum and then you get a little bit of copper on the inside 
Um, but what I like about it is basically if you have a screwdriver, you can take these apart fairly easily. You don't need a ton of different tools. Get this set screw, this cotter pin off of here. So that makes it that makes it nice. And basically my thing is with these, if you see a screw, take it out. I, sometimes when you take stuff apart, you can leave some screws in, but it almost seems like every screw's got to be taken off. Okay, so we'll get all these blades off of here. Top heavy, so I'm going to set that to the side right now. This off. I like melting zinc because you can do it with a hand torch. It's really easy to do. And it pours really nice. It shows a lot of detail on what you pour. Okay. Well, here's three screws that you probably don't have to take off. Okay, so I'd like to get this off somehow, but how do you do that? I had a problem with the last one. I'm not figuring out how this all comes apart.
starting to get hot. Hmm. Well, that's not wanting to come out. Frustrating. Man, these things. Okay, well, I see a couple screws. Three screws down here. But how do I get that if I can't get this thing off? Hmm. Okay, good, more cast, there, these things take some time figuring it out. Okay, so I don't need to get that off because I can get the copper off just like this. Okay. Now, get this out of here. Brass, go in that brass bucket. I just find it crazy that these are brass too. Seems unnecessary to me. I'm not complaining though. Here's another more brass. Teddy bear whole uh, pull thing. That's cute. Real cute, guys. Real cute. There. Throw that away. Words off of this. A little transformer on here, even. So this will go in my motor's bucket, right there. 
and that is another ceiling fan. This is always a fun part of cleaning up. The old magnet. Especially when the screws get down in these holes, they're no match for the strength of this magnet. That's cast aluminum, as well as this little tip. I want to make sure, make sure it's not brass, but I doubt it. Yep. Cast aluminum. I'm not going to put these clips in my brass bucket. I'm going to put them over here in my bin over here of stuff that I melt. Because it would take a lot of them to add up to anything. I'd rather save them and do a special melt. Oh, I still got to go back to work. I don't want to get all dirty here. There we go. Okay, that was a good lunch project. As you can see, I got more to do, so stay with me. We got some fun stuff to take apart. I gave this mower to my neighbor to see if he could get it running, but he could not. The transmission looks like the transmission shot, so I'll probably take the motor off motor off of that and take it in as a motor. Beautiful day. Thanks for watching guys, see ya.